Welcome to our channel, where we share helpful tips and tricks for successful farming. Today, we're going to talk about raised bed gardening and the top 5 mistakes to avoid. Raised bed gardening is a popular method of gardening that involves planting in a designated area above the ground, usually enclosed by wooden or metal frames. It is a great way to grow vegetables, fruits, and herbs in a small space. However, there are some common mistakes that many gardeners make that can affect the success of their raised bed garden. Let's dive in and learn how to avoid these mistakes. Overcrowding. The first mistake many gardeners make is overcrowding their raised beds. It's essential to give your plants enough space to grow and thrive. Overcrowding can lead to poor air circulation, disease, and stunted growth. To avoid this mistake, follow the spacing guidelines provided for each plant and don't try to cram too many plants into a small space. When planning your raised bed garden, consider the mature size of each plant and the recommended spacing between plants. It's better to err on the side of caution and give your plants a little extra space than to crowd them too closely together. Overcrowding can also make it difficult to harvest your vegetables and can create a messy and disorganized garden. Poor soil quality. The soil in your raised bed is the foundation for healthy plant growth. One common mistake is not investing enough time and effort in improving soil quality. It's essential to use high, quality soil that is rich in nutrients and regularly amended with compost or other organic matter. This will help ensure that your plants have the necessary nutrients to grow strong and healthy. When creating your raised bed garden, start with a base layer of soil that is free of rocks and debris. Then, add a layer of compost or other organic matter to enrich the soil. This will provide your plants with the nutrients they need to thrive. Consider getting your soil tested to determine its pH level and nutrient content, and make adjustments as needed. Overwatering. Another common mistake is overwatering your plants. Raised beds typically have excellent drainage, but it's essential not to water too much. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other diseases, as well as leaching important nutrients from the soil. Make sure to water your raised bed garden only when necessary and avoid watering the leaves or foliage, as this can promote disease. When watering your raised bed garden, it's essential to water deeply and evenly. This will encourage deep root growth and help your plants develop strong, healthy roots. Avoid overhead watering, which can lead to wet leaves and promote disease. Consider using a drip irrigation system or watering by hand using a watering can or hose with a gentle spray nozzle. Before we continue to plant selection, join our farming community and never miss a beat. Our farming know-how channel is a great resource for anyone looking to grow their knowledge. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Poor plant selection. Choosing the wrong plants for your raised bed garden can be a costly mistake. Make sure to select plants that are well, suited for your climate, soil type, and light conditions. It's also essential to consider the space requirements of each plant and avoid planting crops that have different water or nutrient needs. When selecting plants for your raised bed garden, Consider your local climate and the amount of sunlight your garden receives. Choose plants that are well, suited to your growing conditions, and that are compatible with one another. Avoid planting crops that have different water or nutrient needs, as this can make it difficult to manage your garden effectively. Neglecting pest control. Finally, neglecting pest control is a common mistake in raised bed gardening. Pests can quickly damage or even destroy your plants, so it's essential to have a plan in place to control them. You can use organic pest control methods such as companion planting, hand, picking pests, or using natural repellents like neem oil or garlic spray. It's important to monitor your garden regularly for signs of pests and act immediately if you notice any issues. When dealing with pests in your raised bed garden, it's important to use a targeted approach that won't harm beneficial insects or the environment. Consider using natural predators like ladybugs or lacewings to control pest populations, or using row covers to prevent pests from accessing your plants. It's also important to practice good garden hygiene by removing any dead or diseased plants promptly and keeping your garden free of debris. Some frequently asked questions about raised bed gardening. What's the best soil to use in a raised bed garden? A high. Quality soil mix that's rich in organic matter and nutrients is ideal for raised bed gardening. Look for a mix that contains compost, peat moss, and vermiculite or perlite. 
How often should I water my raised bed garden? It depends on the weather and the type of plants you're growing, but generally, you should water your raised bed garden deeply once or twice a week. Avoid overwatering, as this can lead to root rot and other issues. Can I use my raised bed garden for growing vegetables year round? Depending on your climate, you may be able to grow vegetables in your raised bed garden year round. However, some plants are better suited to cooler or warmer weather, so it's important to choose your plants carefully and adjust your gardening schedule accordingly. Do I need to add fertilizer to my raised bed garden? Depending on the quality of your soil mix and the types of plants you're growing, you may need to add fertilizer to your raised bed garden. Look for an organic fertilizer that's appropriate for your plants and follow the instructions carefully. How do I know if my raised bed garden is getting enough sun? Most vegetables and herbs require at least six hours of direct sunlight per day to thrive. If your garden is in a shady location, consider using a grow light or choosing shade, tolerant plants. Conclusion, that wraps up our list of the top five raised bed garden mistakes to avoid. By following these tips and guidelines, you can create a successful and thriving raised bed garden that will provide you with fresh vegetables, fruits, and herbs all season long. Remember to give your plants plenty of space, use high, quality soil, water appropriately, choose the right plants for your garden, and keep pest control in mind. Thank you for watching. Happy farming and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more sustainable agriculture tips 